today's session is number eight in our series on the Teleos Man. I hope you've been able to follow along. Maybe you have the textbook, the book, the Teleos Man, and get it on our website or on Amazon.com. But uh, this particular session is on your home. I got I got to quote you one of my favorite chapters of the entire Bible, John chapter number fourteen. Starts off with, let not your heart be troubled, believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many, and the word in the Greek really means, uh, money is the, is the Greek word, but it really means dwelling places or rooms. In other words, my Father's house has a lot of rooms in it. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. So uh, he is revealing Father's house, and uh, then later, verse number 23, he's talking about our house. So we dwell with the Father, and the Father dwells with us. So the Father dwells in me, and I dwell with him, with Jesus in heaven. And it's talking about present tense. It's not talking about something's going to happen when the Lord comes again. So my Father's house are many rooms or dwelling places, and he's preparing that. So I thought, wow, 2,000 years of preparation should be pretty good right now. And then God talks about in the um, book of Revelation, chapter 21, chapter 2, talks about the New Jerusalem that's coming down from God out of heaven. And it describes it. It describes the, the gems that it's made out of. It talks about the streets of gold. It talks about the tree. It talks about the river. Uh, it talks about the foundation of the city. It talks about the gates of the city. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The interesting thing is that he takes the analogy of a city, a city with a house, and makes that to declare, this is like what I am preparing for the bride, I am preparing for you. Everything God does is administrated well. If it is administrated well, God moves. In fact, Corinthians 14 says, where there is disorder, confusion, confusion, if there's disorder and confusion, it, it, it breathes the activity of the enemy. God is not an author of confusion. So in our homes, if you will look around your home, every area that is disorganized, it breeds confusion. So God wants us to understand that he desires our home to be like his home is, and that administratively, he wants our home to be organized. I have a, a rule of my house, Every place, everything has a place, and if it is not in its place, it is out of place. Keys have a place. Combs have a place. Coats have a place. Socks have a place, and it's not on the floor. It's not when you get out of your shoes. Shoes have a place. Everything must have a place, and everything is in its place. Whenever things are administrated correctly, it brings peace. It's when things are in disorder that there is a lack of peace. So many homes are not in an orderly manner. So many homes, there's no organization. Look in the drawers, look in the closets, everywhere. Have you been around couples that every time it's time to go somewhere, they can never find their keys. Every time it's time to do something, they can't find something else. It's because they have never administrated their home. So I just want to bring to you a word of encouragement, not condemnation, but uh, there's a great possibility that if whatever God has given you, including your car, that you take it responsibly, because if I don't steward my car well or my house well, why would God do anything else for me? <laughs> Debbie was teaching at a, at a Bible school one time, <clears throat> and she was teaching about you know, if we can't steward our rooms, if we can't clean up the McDonald's wrappers in our car, how do you think God is going to give us a ministry? They said that immediately follow her session. The trash cans all over the campus were absolutely running over with McDonald's wrappers and all kinds of things that they had pulled out of the car, bags and bags and bags of stuff. I hope they remember to continue doing that because it cannot be just a one-time operation. God wants your house, your car, everything that is part of your possession, well representing him. He's been working a long time in your house. It'd be good if uh, on the house he's prepared for you. So it'd be good if your house represented his house because really God is a very administrative, good God. And he wants you to look like him. So 
Uh, just an idea. Thought maybe you might want to check around, see those things that you possess, see what they look like. Thanks for joining me. Hope you'll join me again next week.